Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to completely customize Android's power menu with material design. Now, depending on your device, Android's power menu can range from utilitarian and boring to almost completely useless. For instance, with Nexus devices or anything running stock Android, the only thing it lets you do is just turn your phone off. And for those of us who like to tinker with our devices, that's just not going to cut it. It's a central menu that's always one button press away. So it would definitely be nice if it at least looked decent, or even better, if we could add some useful options to it. Well, that's exactly what a new Expose module called Neo Power Menu can do. It replaces Android's boring bare bones power menu with a customizable interface that uses material design. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the Exposed Framework install. On top of that, you'll need to be running Android 5.0 or higher, and if you already have any existing WADs that tweak your power menu, you'll need to turn those off. Aside from that, start by heading to the Download section in your Exposed Installer app and searching Neo Power Menu, which is all one word. From here, just tap the top Result, then swipe over to the Versions tab, and hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Expose telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. At this point, you'll need to reboot your phone to wrap things up, so let me take care of that real quick and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so when you get back up, go ahead and open the Neo Power Menu app that you'll now find in your app drawer. From here, just give it a few seconds, and at some point, you'll see a super user access request. So tap Allow on this pop-up. After that, if you're running Android Marshmallow, you'll have to grant the app a pair of additional permissions. So make sure to tap Allow on both of these messages when you see them. With that stuff out of the way, though, you're ready to set up your new power menu. To start, the first thing you should check out is this theme option. And here, you can manually change all of the colors used in your power menu. But if that's a little too involved for you, there's a set of presets you can use that'll theme the power menu as light, dark, or black. Aside from that, the visibility and order menu is where you'll find the meat of this module. And here, you can basically pick and choose the different options that'll show up in your power menu. And when you've enabled everything you want, you can even reorder the entries. With everything set up to your liking though, just back all the way out of the app until you're back on your home screen. At this point, just long press your power button like you normally would, but now you'll see a nice material design transition followed by your fully customized power menu. So it gives you full control over one of Android's most centralized menus, and it actually uses material design, which is something that should have been there by default. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.